Hi everybody, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and very glad to have you here with me today. We're going to be talking about pores and how to reduce them. But as those of you who follow skincare know, you can't really reduce them, or at least they say you can't, but I really feel like you can make them look much smaller than they are normally. And I'm a girl who has had oily skin my whole life. I had my last pimples probably in my late 50s. I mean, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't fun to have acne for not just year after year, but decade after decade. And that resulted in very large pores on my nose especially, and right around in here, the T-zone, and down in here. And I'm going to be showing you the number one thing I use to make my pores look smaller. And since I'm doing a video about pores, I decided to also share the other items that I use to kind of minimize my pores. But before I get into that I did want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today and it includes all of this jewelry and it's all from Am oh that's my wedding ring it's all from Amazon and it's very very reasonable I really do like this sweater and I have this in probably three different colors it's a wonderful cable knit sweater very good quality I've had this one for more than a year and it still looks exactly the same and those jeans are the Levi's 724 straight jeans and they look great on everyone they're just wonderful and if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 plus beauty family i hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you'd like and click that little bell and that will just send you email notifications of my future videos okay let's get into this and before i get into the number one thing that i really think has made my pores look much smaller i'm going to go ahead and do one of the things in advance and that is this wonderful little powder and i have mentioned this before I can tell right now that I look kind of greasy and it looks kind of like I'm looking liney. And I love this Charlotte Tilbury powder. And this is her airbrush flawless finish powder. There it is. And I've probably gone through three or four, but I'll show you. Look at my skin now and you can see I've got a lot of wrinkles, but then I just put this on and look how it just kind of nulls out the wrinkles. Here we go. And it also softens the pores. I'll put it on my nose. Then I've got some Kind of oiliness up here. I always have oiliness. Some of you wonder what I've done to have relatively line free skin at this age, which I'll be 65 in April. And really, I didn't do a whole lot except stay out of the sun and also have extremely oily skin. But anyway, I'll put a little down there because I definitely have wrinkles down there. But see how this powder just nulls out the pores and also the fine lines and wrinkles. I absolutely love this powder. There are days when I don't even use a loose powder. I just go ahead and use this little Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed flawless finish. Okay, so I have that one out of the way. But I'll get into the main thing that I wanted to show you in this video. And this is the Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner. And I have used this for probably two and a half years now. I started out using another of her toners and I liked it because it cut the grease slick, the oil slick that I have on my face. But when I saw that this was a pore reducing formula, I went ahead and ordered this and I have never looked back. This is probably number four or five that I've had. And again, this is the Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner with niacinamide and it has antioxidants and ceramides. So it actually does not leave your skin feeling all dried out. It leaves your skin just feeling dewy and moist. And the niacinamide here helps kind of soften those pores, helps kind of shrink them a little bit, and it helps give your skin a more even glowy tone, which I really like. And and here is one of the reviews from the Polish Choice website. Hannah from Anchorage, Alaska says, genuinely the best toner I've ever used. Noticeably reduced my pore size within a couple of weeks of use. Now after months of use, they're almost non-existent. Doesn't dry my skin out at all like other toners I've used. Doesn't irritate my acne prone skin either. Definitely recommend. And I recommend this too. And I really feel like since I've been using this, my skin just looks overall more flawless, more perfected. The pores look reduced. Absolutely love this toner and I'll link it below. Now, since I'm on the subject of pores, I'll also show you some other things. They're not really also brands because I do use these products on a daily basis. And I really think that they have gone a long way in helping my skin look much more flawless. The first is this Ona Diamond Scrubbing Brush. Well, it's not a scrubbing brush. It's kind of like the Sonicare used to be, and there it is. And you just put a little bit of your chosen face wash on this, get it damp first, and then you turn it on and it has several different speeds, but I just use it on the most basic speed, the slowest speed. And then you just go around your face with that, your face and neck. 
I absolutely love this because I think it cleans out those pores. And again, at my age, I still do get a lot of oil and sebum in my pores. And this really does help everything stay cleaned out, which I love. Oh, one other benefit of this, it sterilizes itself. Once you put the brush back in the little holder there, it goes on for another almost minute, I think. And it uses blue light to sterilize that brush. So you always have a fresh new brush to use, which is great. And another thing that I use about once a week to even out my skin tone and keep my pores nice and clean is the Tatcha the Rice Polish Deep. And what this is, it's a foaming enzyme powder and it is made of rice. And basically it looks just like little white grains here. I don't want to put it on my skin. Oh, there it is, I got too much. But you just mix that with a little bit of water and make a paste and then you just scruffle it all over your face very, very gently. And you do that for maybe 20, 30 seconds and then you rinse off your face. And it's amazing if you haven't used an exfoliant in a little while, it almost makes the skin look a little bit lighter each time you use it because it is buffing off all those old dead skin cells Cells, and it is bringing to the surface those newer, younger, fresher looking skin cells. Now, my last two products that help me deal with my pores are this Benefit Porefessional Primer. And this is an absolutely wonderful daily primer to use and you just put it on like any other primer. It goes on very matte and it nulls out the pores, really gives you a flawless matte finish. Absolutely love that. And for parties and special events, when I really want to look my absolute best, I use this little inexpensive e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'll see if I can show you how it works. I've got that powder on my face. I don't know if this is the best idea. And I have a little Angie brush here. This is the Angie of Hot and Flashy 506. And I just dab that in there. And you're not going to really be able to see how this works. But you just kind of dab that on and it absolutely kind of fills in any large pores that you have. And I wouldn't use this all over your face, but you can use it in those places where you do have pores. And it absolutely just makes those areas of your face just look flawless. And I think it's five or six bucks. Okay, many of you have been asking where my thoughts for the day have been, and I stopped them because I thought my videos got a little bit long, but many of you asked me to bring them back again. So I'm going to be testing my thoughts for the day again, and let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to continue them. I've just ordered some cognitive behavioral therapy cards, and I'm really excited to share those with you because cognitive behavioral therapy helps us become happier through the ways we think and behave, and I'm really excited to get those. I thought I would have them today. I don't. So I'll go ahead and use these How to Love Yourself cards from Louise Hay. Let's go ahead and choose a card, something positive to think about for today. Ooh, I love myself totally in the now. I love myself totally in the now. Healing means to make whole and to accept all parts of myself, not just the parts I like, but all of me. Not just the parts I like, but all of me. And friends, this is so important to love ourselves. You know, in earlier thoughts for the day, I talked about the Louise Hay practice of looking yourself in the mirror in the morning and saying, I love you, I love you, I really, really love you. And you know, the same is true about all aspects of ourselves. Because there are no perfect people in this world, we all have flaws, we have strengths, and we have weaknesses. And you know, sometimes it's hard to accept both sides of ourselves. but you know, our self-talk is so important important when it comes to loving and appreciating ourselves. And I heard something recently, in fact, it had to do with cognitive behavioral therapy, but it said, when you're talking to yourself, when you say something to yourself, ask yourself, would I say that to my son or daughter? Would I say that to my son or daughter? And I realized that many of the things that I say to myself, like, oh gosh, that was so stupid. Oh, you idiot. Why are you doing that again? You have no discipline. Would I really ever want to say that to any of my kids? And the answer is absolutely not. With my own children, I would want to give them positive thoughts, positive statements, and that's what we need to do to ourselves. So friends, just for today, as we're going through our day, let's listen to the self-talk that we're giving to ourselves. And if it isn't something we'd say to one of our own kids, let's shut up and not say it. And let's try to love ourselves totally in the now, because when we do that, we're kinder to ourselves and we're also kinder to those around us. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.